in Iowa. Donald Trump obviously had a good day and had a good time, but he may be the only person I know that flips burgers in a suit. Yeah, <laughs> there's something very authentic about the way he did it, because, you know, he doesn't flip burgers often um, and he's still got that <laughs> suit on. So what do you make I mean, We were talking this morning about the fact that he went into this frat house. Right. And that, you know, he might be the only candidate out there that would get that kind of reception in a fraternity house, you know, or young people, you know, generally don't really care about politicians coming in to see them. And yet these guys were enthused and excited. Why is that? Explain this phenomenon. Because he connects to people that most Washington politicians simply cannot connect to because they're a wholly owned subsidiary of the donor class. They take their orders from the donor class and from the lobbyists and from the people who really run government from behind the scenes. And Donald Trump, the reason they hate him so much, the reason the deep state has been out to get him from the moment he came down the escalator was because he owes them nothing. Well, now he owes them something. He owes them the opportunity to get back into office and to turn them out and to send them home. But that's why there's such a, an extraordinary outrage about him, but there's also an extraordinary acceptance and enthusiasm for him. Look at this, this is three years since the election of 2020, and he's still getting uh, the kind of uh, reception that a person just elected would get. Joe Biden goes to a place, meanders on and off the stage, mumbles through a teleprompter speech and gets polite applause like at a golf course. It's just <laughs> stunning to see the difference.